Wow. <laughs> this devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you imagine that? I don't know what happened though. The, never, the, the video just cut off by itself. Just cut off. Let us share again. Invite people again. Invite people again. God bless you all. You are welcome in Jesus' name. Can you hear me? <laughs> hey, the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Please share again. Share again. For some reason, we got caught off. We got caught off. I don't know, the video just suddenly went off by itself. Welcome, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, God bless you. Hallelujah. Let's change the musical. Let me find that. I hope it's not the music. I don't know why it got cut off, why it got cut off. Let's go on YouTube. Let's change the music sharp sharp. I will bless you holy. Hallelujah. Welcome back. Welcome back. Please share. I will bless, I will bless your name. Your name. your name at all times in the name of Jesus. I'm just waiting for more people to come online. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, guys. Share, share, share. Invite your families and your friends. Let us share, 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 share. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let us share. Let us share. By the grace of God, we are fasting for three days, no food for three days. We can do it. We've been doing it before. 
We do this every month. So we are fasting for the month of September. Praise the Lord. And we always break with communion on the last day. Praise God. So make sure you join. And I know the Lord will strengthen us. Praise the Lord. It is easy. It is easy. Trust me. Only the first day is hard. From the second day, you'll be fine. Except if you are on medication, of course, then you can apply wisdom. If you're on medication, that you must take. You can you can fast a uh, short fast, and you break in the evenings, or you can do the Daniel's fast. But make sure you fast for these three days, okay? If you have no medical condition or need nothing, you have no excuse. You have to fast. You are born again. You have to fast. You have to fast. It's very easy. Hallelujah. God bless every one of you. I don't know if our mom is online yet. I will check. We have a speaker for tonight. Alright, I'm going to share to her. I can't see her. Praise the Lord. So I was just talking in the first video before we got caught off. That vanity upon vanity is vanity. You know, we are chasing all these things. Oh, mom is here. <laughs> We are chasing all these things left, right, and center. And then we neglect God. Or we put God aside. But he, he is supposed to be the ultimate in our lives. The ultimate. Praise the Lord. The ultimate. He should. He is supposed to be. But these days, people are just chasing after what he created. And they are neglecting the creator. And I was giving an example of the news I had today. Somebody that we know somebody that we know he's around 30 years as at this time was buried today you know it's not like he's our friend friend but he's human you know that is why we should be careful with how we live our lives don't live your life anyhow don't be mean don't be wicked don't be selfish. Don't let this evil desire, motive to cheat people and, you know, do evil, overtake you. Because what a man sows, he will surely reap. Now look at him now. Because of his lifestyle. I'm telling you, it's because of his lifestyle. And things he did that caught up with him. Because he devised, he, he devised evil, mischief. He... he he did what is wrong because of finance. What is money? That money now, he is dead now and gone. He has left the money, Abby. And look at the bad debt. Very bad one. I'm going to talk about him later. But when I heard the news, it just kind of made me very unhappy. The reason is I'm happy, I'm, I'm unhappy about it is that <laughs> he's a soul. And as at... The last time I saw his pictures, there's nothing like, I don't see anything like a born again child of God. Anybody that is not in love with Christ, anybody that is not born again, there is no way they will make it to heaven. And so that is my own pain. Not that the guy was good though. In fact, the guy dealt with us. Me and my husband, he dealt with us. But we forgave him long ago. And it pains me that that young boy, how old? Around 30 years. This is just at the prime of his life because of greed and selfish desires. These things don't last. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Then let God take care of you. Now he's gone, buried, no wife, no children, nothing. That I may know him. And I was saying that if you choose to know God and the power of his resurrection, you will understand that the God you serve, my God, he is a mighty, mighty God, able to do anything. But he wants our hearts first. Hallelujah. And we were just praying for ourselves, Lord, help me to know you more. Help me to know you more. Help me to know you more. Help me, Father, to know you more. To know you more, Lord, and the power of your resurrection. Pull me closer to you, Jesus. 
Hold me closer to you, Father. There is nothing on this life that we are just chasing and running after. With all the things this guy stole, with all the things he took, all the property that is not for him that he is selling and has been selling, even from when that my brother-in-law died, he's been selling his property. The first thing that guy sold was his generator. Documents disappeared. But where is he now? He's dead and gone. He's left all these things. Why are we chasing all these material things? Eh? Rather, let us seek God and chase after God at age 30 or around 30. It should be around 30, at most 31 or 2. No, it's not to 32. He was 20 something when the guy died. The, he was very like three and a half years ago. Just within three, just less than four years now. He himself is dead. But the guy that died was way older. That one has two children. Him now, no children. There is no gain. What a man so he will reap. But it just pains me that he's human. He's somebody's child. And his soul now gone to hell. Except if he repented before he died. That's the only thing that will save him. And take him to heaven. I am just encouraging us. This three days fasting. Take it serious. Fast. Food. You will eat food after three days. Jesus fasted for 40 days. A sister here fasted 40 days. I'm not saying that Jesus, now not Jesus, somebody here, on, she's online now. God told her to fast for 40 days. And she did it with only water. She drank water for 40 days. What is three days? Me, yeah, I'm saying it to God, I've not given me the grace to do 40 days fasting. You don't go into that fast when God did not send you. You're on your own. God told her. And he gave her the grace to do it. She just completed it. Was it last week? She completed 40 days fast last week. This is only three days. Come and fast for yourself. Don't be a lazy Christian. It's sacrifice. How many of you are going to fast for these three days? And I was saying if you have medical conditions, that is the only condition for you to break. You can do six to six, you break, eat, and you start again. And if your medication is the one that has to, that you have to take it in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, is life-threatening, then you can do the Daniel's fast or fruit fast. So you can take your medications if you, if you need it. But for those of us that don't need any medication, you have no excuse. Fast. The only thing you will feel is hunger. You will drink water. We'll be drinking water. I have my water here. Drink water, only water, all right? And the Lord will bless us. Just begin to pray. Father, touch me in these three days. Turn my life around. Change my situation. Draw me that I will know you. That I will know you. That I will know your thoughts for my life. That I will know what you do, what you want me to do. God bless you. Good evening. Good evening. Hallelujah. Good evening, my dear. How are you? Let me ask you. Let me ask you. When we finish this video, finish this video. Are you going to sleep? Are you going to sleep? Yes. Why is your face shining like this? I live. Yeah. My face. This is. You are looking, you are looking very good. <laughs> I like you. I've not washed my face. I've been waiting to do it, so I'll just go and clean my face for the night. It's tired now, since morning. It's tired. It needs to go and... <laughs> Praise the Lord. God bless you. Welcome to the broadcast. We bless God. Good evening, woman of God. God bless you all, everyone watching. May God prosper you as you wait upon him in the name of Jesus. It's a spiritual work. It's a spiritual assignment. And I pray God we grant you all the strength to do to do our bit in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Let us pray. Mighty God, King of glory, King of kings, 
Omnipotent, omniscient God, be exalted, O God. Be magnified, sovereign Lord. The El Shaddai, the Lamb, the tribe of Judah, the Rose of Sharon. I praise you, O God. I magnify your name because you are the Alpha and the Omega. You are the beginning and the end. Lord God of hosts, you knew that on a night like this, or day, as depending on where we are, we will be gathering together, oh Lord, to share this time in your presence. Mighty God, we just bless you. We magnify your name. We thank you, O oh Lord, O oh Lord, for you have qualified us to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in the light. Father, Lord God, we come to you today, O oh Lord, humbly, humbly, O oh God, because your son Jesus has made it possible for us to come before your presence. We just magnify your name. We acknowledge you as the source, the author of all knowledge. Nothing is hidden from you, O Lord. Nothing is hidden for you, O Lord. Lord God of hosts, we ask, O Lord, that you reveal the secret things to us. Open the eyes of our understanding. Give us illumination, O Lord, enlightenment. Give us, O oh Lord, deeper insight into your word. Father, refresh us in your word by your Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, come Holy Spirit, do what you do best. Help us, guide us, teach us. Lead us through this meeting tonight. And bless everyone that will be connecting now and or connecting later in the name of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus. Father, Lord God, we bind every territorial spirit. We invite your angelic host to take control, Holy God, in the name of Jesus. We ask that you position your angels into every home, into this home, round about our home, in the name of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus. Father, Lord God, let your word, O Lord, flow through my lips of clay and bring healing, transformation, strength, power, Oh, Lord God, insight to the hearers in the name of Jesus. May it bring healing. May it bring strength. And may it bring that zeal, oh God, to carry on on this journey to eternity in the name of Jesus. We magnify your name. We commit this fasting for these three days into your hands, Lord. I pray for supernatural strength, oh Lord. Infuse fresh fire, fresh anointing into every life that will be participating. And let that anointing break every yoke, every yoke that has been hustling and disturbing any man, any woman that will be connecting in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, have your way. Have your way, Holy Ghost. Oh, Father, breathe your breath of life through these words into all our spirits and strengthen our resolve to continue in you in the name of Jesus. Take glory, take honor and adoration. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Oh, Lord God, I step aside. Holy Spirit, take control. In the name of Jesus. I pray, oh, Lord, you release more of your instructions. In the name of Jesus. Even to the hearers, Father, begin to grant them action plans. And grant them instructions for their next level, for the next stage of their lives. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. God bless you all. We just thank God for this uh, topic that I may know him. Praise the Lord. When I thought about this you know, topic that I may know him. You know, it's something we have all read, we know about, and, you know, it's a, it's a real um, puzzling question that for a person like Paul to continue to, at that point in his life, to say that I may know him, you know, it is very, very, very um, important for us as Christians, you know, as Paul prayed, he, he, that he may know him, that he may know him. And as I was pondering about I was thinking about other people in the Bible like Daniel, Joseph, Moses, who actually enjoyed the power and presence of God 
You know, it really shows that there is a, it is very important to know God. You know, it is very important to know God. I'll, I'll read our theme text, you know, and it is from the book of Philippians chapter 3. I'll read from verse 4. Philippians chapter 3 from verse 4. To put it in context. Philippians Actually, I'll start from verse 3. Further, my brother, I'm reading from the NIV version. It says, further, my brother, brothers and sisters, rejoice in the Lord. It is no trouble for me to write the same things to you again. So it means he had, he had written it before and he was writing it again. He says, and it is a safeguard for you. Every day of our lives, we need to continually, you know, go over the word of God as a safeguard to help us, to prevent us from going astray. Praise the Lord. And he said, watch out for those dogs, those evildoers, those mutilators of the flesh. For it is we who are the circumcision, we who serve God by his spirit who boasts in Christ Jesus, and who put no confidence in the flesh, though I myself have reasons for such confidence. Now, Paul began after, you know, encouraging them to beware of people who wanted to force them. These were Christians, people who were not Christians, who had not given their lives to Christ. But there was still this controversy about this teaching about these grown-up people, you know, going to go under the knife again, that even though they have accepted the Lord Jesus, they had to follow the laws of Abraham, of, of, um, of Moses, and go and have circumcision. So that's, you know, they, he was telling them, just ignore that, because that is no longer, you know, what is the real circumcision. It was not the circumcision of the heart. It was in the circumcision of the male organ. So that is what is being referred to in those verses. Now, he began to talk about himself. This is Paul, who is now saying that he may know God. He said, if someone else thinks they have reason to put confidence in the flesh, I have more. I was circumcised on the eighth day of the people of Israel, of the, pri of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of Hebrews in regard to the law, a Pharisee as for zeal persecuting the church, as for righteousness based on the law, faultless. But whatever were there to me, I want you to pay attention to this. For But whatever were gains to me, all of those things he had mentioned before were things that gave him a special class, a, a special class that he was a reputable Pharisee the Pharisees were the ones that felt they had to defend the laws of Moses. You know, he was circumcised. He was very zealous in, in, in fighting and killing the and seeing to the fact that they killed Christians. But he said all of those, he, he threw away. So what are we throwing away? What are we throwing away? So that question pops up in our mind there. And that is a prayer point for us. What are we throwing away? He said, but whatever yeah. was to me, I now consider loss for the sake of Christ. What is more, I consider everything a loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord, for whose sake I have lost all things. I consider them garbage that I may gain Christ and be found in him, not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but what which is, but that which is through faith in Christ, the righteousness that comes from God on the basis of faith. It is very important for us to read this before we come to where he now talks about, you know, the theme for these three days fast. I want to know Christ. Yes, to know the power of his resurrection and participation in his sufferings, becoming like him in his death, and so somehow 
attaining to the resurrection from the dead. Not that I've already <laughs> obtained all this or have already arrived at my goal, but I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. Praise the Lord. You see, he said that he may know him, that he may know him. In this Philippians 3 verse 10, he says that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. This is the new, the King James Version. And the fellowship of his sufferings, being conformed to his death, if by any means I might attain to the resurrection from the dead. Why would you think Paul is still having this earnest desire to know more, to know Christ? We call ourselves Christians. This should be a cry of our hearts. It should be the cry of our hearts day by day. It should be the prayer that we pray in our closet that we may know him. We need to know who we are following. It is important that we seek to know Christ, to be able to know who we are following. If you are following somebody, you need to know the person's background. You know, a lot of us tend to follow all kinds of things, all kinds of people, but it is very important that we know what this person believes in. Who does this person believe in? Who is this person's God? Which God does this person serve? And Paul was yearning more and more to know, to know more. He said that I may know him. So we need to know who we are following. We need to know, you know, why we are following him. We need to know because knowledge brings revelation. You know, a deeper knowledge of whoever we are following brings revelation. And that is why it did not surprise me that David was, is referred to as a prophet. David, you know, said in Psalm 42 verse 1, as the deer pants, as the deer pants for the water brook, so my soul longs after you. And that was why David was able to have a lot, a lot of revelations about Jesus Christ. You know, like Psalm, uh, Psalm 22 and some of other Psalms reveal so, so many things about our Lord Jesus Christ. Because there was a longing in his heart to really know God. There was a longing. And for anyone who really longs for God, who really yearns for God, you know, you will really find it. He said, if you seek me, you will find me when you seek me with all of your heart. You know, so when Paul is crying out like this, we can see the manifestation in his life. Because as a result of this, his earnest desire, his yearning, God really made himself known to him. The resurrected Christ really made himself known to him. Because we know from Ephesians chapter 3, Ephesians chapter 3, verse 6, he says, the mystery is that through the gospel, the Gentiles are held together with Israel, members together of one body, and sharers together in the promise in Christ Jesus. It was God, Jesus, who revealed by the Holy Spirit to Paul when he was in Arabia about the gospel being given to the Gentiles. And that is how we have now become you know, members. When we know knowledge brings revelation. So it wasn't surprising that Paul was crying out that he may know, that he may know him and the power of his resurrection. Praise the Lord. Despite all Paul's credentials, all his credentials, but his desire, his, uh, his heart's cry was, was to know God more. It was to know God, to know Christ, to know him more. And there were things that he stated that he needed to know. He said he needed to know Christ himself. He needed to know Christ himself. You know, to know Christ himself. Yep. Paul was very clear about the things he wanted to know about Christ. He said that I may know Christ. 
and to know his power and to know his sufferings, his pain. So I want you to make note of those three things. He wanted to know Christ, that's the person of Christ. Who was this Christ? He wanted to know the power of the resurrection, the power of the resurrection. You know, he wanted to know him. This was a passionate call, you know, from the heart of Paul. It was very passionate because he loved Christ. He loved him so much. He wanted a deeper, a, you know, deeper knowledge of God. He wanted a greater, he wanted to know God in greater depth. He wanted to know Christ. He wanted to know him, you know, and to know Christ, you really have to be deeply rooted, you know. <coughs> Who do you want to know? Why, why do you want to know? Because it, when the, the triune God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and what Christ has done for us, the, the triune God is so, is, is so great. He, you know, the, the, his height, his breadth, the length of who he is, you know, we can never comprehend. But Paul had that yearning. He wanted to know. He wanted to know him. He wanted to know God. He said, you know, do you think he did not know Christ? He knew because he had experienced a lot of people. Now, in 2 Timothy, if I take you to 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 12, he, he, it was the same Paul that is crying out that wrote to Timothy. He said, I know who I have believed. I know who I have believed. So it's not that he had not enjoyed that, you know, um, knowledge of who Christ was. But he, there was a con constant yearning in him to know more because he understood that, you know, we can never know all of God. We can, we can only know what he, he revealed to us about himself. So it is not That's right. that That's we right. don't know him. He, he, he was just yearning, he wanted to know him in greater depth he wanted to really know this god for a reason that i may know him you know and he, he really wanted to know the person of christ he really wanted to connect with that christ he really wanted to connect with the core he wanted christ to be so tangible to him in a way that you know he could express you know what christ wants to be expressed. He wanted all of his being to be like, like what Christ said, you know, that greater work than he had done that, you know, we will do also. And that's why I believe that Paul continually had this yearning that he might know him. He really wanted to know him. He wanted to know him, not only knowing him as a person, he wanted to know the power of his resurrection. You know, the key yeah. to having that power of resurrection yeah. is to yield, is to yield, to yield. And that state of his mind was a yielded heart. It was a mind that was willing to really say, yes, Lord, take all of me. You know, I, I, I step aside. I want you to take control. Praise the Lord. He was totally surrendered to God. He, you know, he, 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 he was so surrendered to God. And there was a reason I believe Paul was uh, really seeking more of God. He said the power of the resurrection, you know, the, having that power of resurrection means, you know, whatever Paul was to touch, life would come into it. What was that Amen. power? What was that power? What was that power of the, of, of the resurrection? He said, I want to know Christ. Yes, to know the power of his resurrection. Res resurrection to have that power who is, who is that great power that was able to resurrect this christ you know what is that great power you know who is that great power he wanted to know everything that was you know that made christ a powerful source and he, he, he always yearned for it and it is no wonder that the shadow of paul you know was healing the sick he was sending handkerchiefs <clears throat> people far away. They were being healed. A lot of miracles Paul did. And even the greatest miracle is the knowledge, you know, he gained from the Holy Spirit that we now have as our Bible in all of the epistles. It helped us understand 
our Christian faith more, our Christian walk, the things God likes, what the Holy what what we uh, provoke the Holy Spirit. It is through Him having this yearning heart that He may know Him that we were able to participate in this. And Paul did not stop there. He said he wanted to share in his sufferings. He wanted to share in his sufferings, you know, becoming like him in death. And this is so, so, so interesting. You know, yeah, there was a day I was sitting and I was thinking to myself, if the apostle, if they prayed and Peter was not killed by Herod, you know, why did they allow themselves to be martyred? Why did they not call on God? And, you know, but what the Holy Spirit was saying to me was they loved Christ so much that they, so die was nothing to them. And we mm -hmm. cannot hear that in the voice of Paul. He said to live, to, 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 to live is Christ, to die is gain. You know, that is to show that nothing in this world meant anything to, to them but to know the will of the Father, praise the Lord. So, Hallelujah. what benefit does that give to us as children of God in this present day? Even as we are fasting and we are going to start this fast, you know, and yearning to know more, to know more about him, you know, to know, to know more, to gain from this uh, fasting and praying is to, to have this type of mindset that we really want to know God more. We want to know, know, know the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit more. To know him is to follow the doctrines of Christ. All of the doctrines of Christ. You know, Paul had this aspiration for more of Christ. And so he was able to glean a lot from, from our Lord Jesus Christ. Because he had this passionate cry in his heart. He had this the strong desire in his heart to have more, to have more of, of our Lord Jesus Christ. You know, so what does this do for us? Many of us are carrying out this fast and we begin to pray to God. You know, do we really seek to know him more? Are we willing to pay the price? Because to know Christ, to know Christ, you know, requires paying the price for it. It requires paying the price. It requires, you know, really yearning. Like if he says, you know, for Paul, he said he didn't want to, to be engaged in all this, uh, you know, faffing about, not really just surface, you know, superficial Christianity. He wanted to a, a deeper knowledge. He wanted a deeper knowledge of Christ. He wanted a deeper knowledge of Christ. He did not want to, to really uh, do uh, what every other person does. He wanted more. He wanted more of, uh, of all that was in Christ. So what was he saying? Mm -hmm. um, um, in that verse uh, 12, he said, Not that I have already obtained all this or have already arrived at my goal, but I press on to take hold. You know? So to seek to know God means you, you need to make that sacrifice. It, it's something that you need to make that sacrifice. Like this fasting is part of the sacrifice because it kills the flesh and it makes you, the spirit man, stronger. You know, it, it gives you that time to be quiet because the flesh is not shouting and your, your spirit man is built up stronger, praise the Lord. It's built up stronger. It takes you to a greater height. It takes you to a greater height. So well, to, for us to be able to know God, things that we need to avoid is unbelief. You know, to know God, we need to, to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. We believe on the Lord Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. We, are, we walk in God's reality. What is God's reality? The things God says, God, with God, nothing is impossible. With God, nothing is impossible. We can do exploits. The Bible says they that know they, 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 they are God, they shall do exploits. The book of Daniel, when Daniel was given the prophecy of things that probably some of it has happened and some are yet to happen, 
he says in Daniel 11, 32b, he said he, he had said a lot of things that will happen to those who had broken the covenant, those who were not following the things of God, not following the, the, the reality of, of God. He said, but the people who know they are God will be strong and will mm -hmm. do exploits. They will be strong and do exploits. And did Paul do exploits? Yes, he did exploits. They that know they are God, they will be strong. They will do exploits. Another version says, they that know they are God will be strong and will resist. They will resist the negative things. They will resist. When you know God, you will have the power, you know, to resist in any negative thoughts coming to your heart. You know, you may be believing God for one thing or another, but when you know God, when you know that God loves you so much that he will really do great things for you, then you will, be, you will have peace. You will enjoy his rest. Like, like the Bible says that you will enter his rest. You know, when you follow him, when you walk in his reality, you know, to, to, to know God, you, you, you need to know God to be able to overcome demonic doctrines. There's so much going around everywhere. I was watching a video somebody sent to me a couple of weeks ago. Actually, I didn't watch it, but I, I, at first, you know, when they sent it, most of this, there's always so many of these things coming in. And I was deleting some videos from my phone, and then I came across this video. And this man, he will go this way, and the way he moves is the way the person is, is casting demons out of his moving. You can see that there's hypnotism going on. There's hypnotism. If he touches them, then they start to jitter and shake and do all kinds of jerking movement. You know, and I began to wonder, I said, what is all this? But if you know your God, if you know your God, if you know the power of his resurrection, you know, you will, if you know him as a person, you will know that he loves you so much not to take you through that kind of a thing. Because I can just imagine the apostles walking along the street and making everybody jerk and hit their head against the wall, you know. So <coughs> I was really concerned. And the, funny thing, the way the person will move is the way that person. So you can see there's a spirit in that man that was moving that person. You know, if he sways this way, that person will also sway the other way. Because we need to know God. That is why I believe Paul was praying. He said all of the doctrines. For Paul himself, he was praying because there was all kinds of doctrines going on about this circumcision. And he said he really wasn't interested in all of that, apart from Christ crucified, the Christ, the resurrected Christ. Praise the Lord. So we have to, you know, really pray to know God so that we, we can discern between truth and error. You know, it's so, so many things is, is, is rife now in the body of Christ. A lot of gimmicks, a lot of false doctrines. But when you know God, when you know your God, you know, God will fill you with his spirit and you'll be able to discern the right from wrong. To know God is to discard all negative beliefs, all, all, all falsehood is to discard negativity. You know, to know God is that, you know, your, your knowledge will increase. The knowledge of who God says you are, who God is, what God is capable of doing, we come to you, praise the Lord. So it increases your knowledge and resolve. When you know it increases your resolve, you will say, I know that I know. I know who I have believed. I know, like the Hebrew boys. You know, that's why I said when I was pondering over this, I thought about Daniel. He knew his God. The, the three boys, Hananiah, Michelle, the three of them, they knew. They said, God, we, they know, even if our God does not save us, they said they will not do what they were expected to do, which God. You know, when, you, when your heart tries to know God, to know Christ, to know the work he has done for you, then you will not, you know, you will, bow. You will not cower to any weak situation. You will not bow your head low. God will grant you that grace in the name of Jesus. And you'll be able to declare that like Paul, that you know that you may know God and the power, that you may know him and the power of his resurrection, the pain of his suffering. Mm -hmm. 
Do you know if you know God, when you go through trials and temptations, you will not complain because, you know, he is with you through the pain. When you know, when you know God, because Jesus said in that Matthew 28 verse 20, he said, I will be with you always. I will be with you always. So when you know that, when you know Christ, that was why he said, if he knows the person, despite everything that Paul was going through, he did not, there was never a time he was grumbling. There was never a time he was grumbling. Even though he had oils and everything all over his body, when he even talked to God, God said to him, my grace is sufficient for you. When people describe, right. we know, the type of right. things that were all over Paul's body, you will not believe that it's the same person that is telling you to forge ahead. You know, telling you to forge ahead. He was even saying that he's pressing more. He's pressing higher. He's pressing, you know, going higher, higher in Christ. And he was seeking more because he was so passionate. He had that deep yearning. So, you know, what would the... What did uh, uh, Paul say that he may know the, 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 the pain of his suffering, you know, the fellowship of his suffering in the King James Version? Paul wanted to share in Christ's suffering. So for us today, when there is no food there, count it all joy. That is part of knowing God. Because place where you, you have that uh, need that God, you know, is present. Because he's with you through it. When you are going through rejection, when people condemn you, people criticize you, you are going through with Christ. That is part of the suffering. You say you are saying he, he suffered, so I also I don't mind suffering. That is why we don't cut corners. Mm -hmm. Follow the right path. You know, the road may be long and dreary, but we know that you know God. Whatever we do needs to give God glory we must bear there are times when there'll be satanic onslaught you know the powers of darkness principalities and powers rulers of darkness spiritual kindness in high places will be throwing their arrows manipulating destinies you know it's all part of the suffering but but when when you know god you know he will deliver you from them all like it says many are the affliction of the righteous but the lord delivers him from them all so knowing God is sharing in, in, in his pain, sharing in his pain through our own challenges in life, praise the Lord. But I pray that God will enable us because, you know, he has promised it and he will bring it to pass. Praise the Lord. Let us look at 1 Corinthians 15 verse 31. This same Paul. Who is that? 1 Corinthians 15 verse 31. 1 Corinthians, 15, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 31, yes. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 31. You know, he's a very interesting man, our Apostle Paul. It's just to encourage us, to let us know that do this, then we can also enjoy the type of grace that Paul enjoyed. He said, I, I protest by your rejoicing, which I have in Christ. Jesus, our Lord, I die daily. I die daily. For us to know him, we have to die daily. People will curse you. People will abuse you. People will insult you. People will reject you. They might condemn you. But if you know Christ, you know that Christ has not condemned you. Christ has not mm -hmm. condemned you. So it is all part of dying to the flesh. He said, I die daily. I die daily. Praise the Lord. You know, I die daily. I die. He says, I die daily. If for us to know God, our flesh needs to die daily. And that is one of the things the, 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 the fasting does for us. It helps us in keep our flesh so that, you know, we die daily. Praise the Lord. Knowing Christ, you know, it means we are preserved through temptations. No matter the temptations, we are still able to worship God. When we worship in the face of 
rejection, when we worship in the face of persecution, when we worship despite the pains or lack or losses, delays of certain things that we are believing God for, you know, it draws the presence of God to us. And that is what gives us that power. That is what that gives us that sustaining power. It gives us the strength to carry on and the strength, the will, the resolve to overcome. Praise the Lord. So we continue to do that. We continue to pray. You know, let us look at uh, Galatians 2, verse 20. Galatians 2, just trying to let you know, you know, the, the mindset of this man, Paul, who, who said this. He made this statement that he may know know him and the power of his resurrection, you know, and the fellowship of his suffering. So when, when certain things are happening, you are praying to God, and certain things, you know, some powers may be withholding what you are doing. You know, you want to remember that it will bring great gain. It will bring you great gain because as you persevere, you go through the trial, the, 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 the promises, you know, that we follow will be great. It will be wonderful. We know our brother Paul is seated now at the right hand of God in heaven. But you can also enjoy that, the, the promises here on earth. Because our trials draws God to us. It draws us closer to God. When you read that Galatians 2, verse 20, he says, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live is in the flesh. I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. That is an understanding of who Christ is. That is a, a, a picture of a person who knows Christ. It's a picture of a person who really knows Christ. You know, he said, the life I now live, I live through the person who loves me. So when you know that, you know, you are going through that temptation, Christ is there. He's going through it with you as well. Be encouraged. Don't give up. Christ is going through that temptation with you as well. Praise the Lord. Because, you know, he has bought you. But your salvation. In this age where there's confusion, where many have deviated from knowing the true God, you know, the body of Christ reeks of false prophets, false Christ. People are coming out and saying they are doing things in the name of Christ. But by their fruits, you really know that they are not doing these things through, the, uh, the, through um, Christ. You know? So that is why to know God we need to hold on to the Bible because the Bible is the sole authorized revelation of God to man. It is the sole revelation of God to man. So when Paul is saying that he may know him, Paul was a person who had been in the presence of God and by the prayer, by the, you know, he, he had a, a very close and intimate relationship with God. We need to build intimacy to know him, that I may know him that I may know him. Even as you are seeking to know him, do not be surprised that, you know, certain challenges may come. You know, hold on to the Bible so that you do not fall into any falsehood. You know, many have fallen into falsehood. You know, falling into falsehood. They have been given empty hopes, empty hopes, and then they now crash and they turn away from Christ. And you say, when you go home, or you said, no, there's nothing like God. You know, there's nothing. There's no, Christ did not really die. If not, this is because they were not reading the Bible and they got caught in the trap. You know, to know God means, you know, to know his capability, to know what God is capable of doing. You know, the resurrection power makes all things that are dead come back to life. So when we really seek to know God, you want to believe that he is the God that can bring dead things back to life. You know, he is the God that Amen. can bring... So this is what Amen. on your belief, your belief system, the resurrection. He brings things back to life. 
you know, because he's the, he's the God who breathes by the power of the Holy Spirit into everything and life comes. He did it through the prophet Ezekiel. In Ezekiel 37, he asked him to breathe to the dead bones and they came back to life. This, this God, he's the one that breathes upon every dead thing. When we know God, he is able to impact all that we do. He is able to help us, give us the strength to overcome suffering, to overcome weariness. Because sometimes when you are waiting and waiting for a, a miracle, you can become weary. You can become lethargic. You can become, you know, you feel like giving up. But when you know your God, when you know your God, then you know that, you know, the risen Christ is the great producer of harvest. He's the great producer of great harvest. Praise the Lord. So we have, we have seen that, you know, Paul said he dies daily. So to know God means that we have to die daily. We have to die daily. You know, we were told in Matthew 24, verse 4, it said, Watch out that no one deceives you, for many will come in my name. But if you do not have a close relationship with if you are not studying the word, because you study the word, the Holy Spirit will be so sensitive. And if you come in contact with anything, anyone that is not using the Spirit of God, you will be able to discern error from the truth you'll be able to know it. So that is why it is very important. There's a lot of lying and deceit. You know, it's becoming so rampant. There's a lot of religious deception. That is why you may know him, that I may know him. If you know him, if you know the person of Christ, three Ps, the person of Christ, the power of the resurrection, and, you know, the, 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 the fellowship, the pain he went through. You'll be cautious in anything because you don't want the death of Christ to be in vain. Praise the Lord. You know, you do not want him, you want everything to be in vain. So you have to be very intimate with him. You have to be really intimate with him. So what does it mean to know God? To know God means to really love him, to submit to him, to yield to him. To, to really um, um, surrender everything to him, to know him, to surrender. You let God, you know, like Paul said, uh, 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 in him he lives. You know, he said he, the life he lives, he, he, he now lives in Christ. So everything you live should be according to the way of Christ. So that is what it means to know God. To know God means to, be, to live a life that is totally surrendered to him is to live a life of a, a serving a, a serving child of God. is to serve God and serve his people. To know him, you know, not just to know him superficially, but to have a deeper knowledge, a deeper knowledge of him. You know, be, Christ had a deeper knowledge of, of our God. That was why, you know, when that uh, soldier came to arrest him and Peter chopped off his ear, you know, that is, Jesus said, no, that is not my way. Because those that live by the sword, they will die by the sword. And he, he picked up the ear and put it back. When you know God, the way you will react in life will be different in, in different situations. Especially now that you are fasting, there will be different things that will come to test you. It may be in your family, it may be in your place of work, you know, but when you have this mindset that Paul has, that if something wants to come and tempt you, oh, thank you, Jesus. And that was why Jesus said, count it all joy when you fall into diverse trials and temptations because they knew God, because they knew they were being fellowship, you know, fellowship of his suffering. Anything anybody did to them, they would say, oh, thank you, Lord. You know, I, I, I probably think they would say, Oh, the pain Jesus went through that day is not to be compared with this one. And they will just relax, you know. So this, this, Paul, this was the yearning of Paul's heart. And there are many Christians who are adopting this. And God is doing great and mighty things. You know, why do we need to know God? We need to know God to do exploits. Because we learned from Daniel that they that know their God will do 
exploits. Praise the Lord. So we are going to pray. We are going to pray because I know many of you are yearning that we pray. We are going to pray that God, you know, we connect our hearts to his heart so that we will receive more of him. Praise the Lord. So we are going to pray, Lord, help me to know you more. That's a simple prayer, but very, very heavy. Because when we know God, it means we are ready for anything that comes across our way without grumbling. Father, Lord, help us to know you more. Help us to know you more, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Help us to know you more. Oh Lord God, purify our hearts. Purify our hearts, oh Lord. Purify our hearts, oh Lord. Purify our hearts, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, purify our hearts to know you more. We desire to know you more, oh God. We desire to know you more. We do not want to err in our hearts, oh Lord. We do not want to err in our hearts, oh Lord. We do not want to err in our hearts, oh Lord. Because we know that you do not look at the outward appearance, but you look at our hearts, oh Lord. Purify our hearts. We do not want to err in our hearts. We do not want to do wrong in our hearts, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. According to your word in Hebrews 3 verse 10, you said, Wherefore I was grieved with that generation and said, they do always err in their hearts and shall not enter into my rest, that they have not known my ways. So I swore in my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest. Father, Lord God, Father, Lord, we will not be counted among that generation that err in their hearts. We will not be counted among that generation that we that we grieve the Holy Spirit. We will not be counted in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father Lord God, make our hearts the hearts that we yield unto you, O God, in the name of Jesus. Make our hearts the hearts that we yield unto you, the heart that we connect with you at all times, in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord Jesus, carry Basoria. Enable me, O oh Lord, to know you, to connect with you in a tangible way. Help me to connect with you, O oh Lord. Keri basori kara basende rila soria in a tangible way. Ah, Father, basiri ba abasiri kara basoria beshiri kara basoria. Mighty God, bring me closer to you. I want to connect with you in a tangible way. I want to connect with you, Lord, in a tangible way. I want to connect with you, O oh God. In a tangible way, O oh Lord, connect with my spirit, man, O oh Lord. Strengthen me with might in the inner man. Bori karabase shiriba bosi tadaria. Bori karabaso shiriba bosi tadaria. In the name of Jesus. Bori karabasoria. O shiriba bosi tadaria. In Jesus' name. Amen. A Christian who does not know God is very unstable. He is very unstable. He does not have faith. A Christian does not know the great might of their God. A Christian does not know the, the, the capabilities of, their, of, of his or her God. He, he wavers. You know, he wavers here and there. So we are going to pray, Lord, make me a, a, a child that is stable in you. Make me a child that is stable in you. That I will not move, wave about with every form of doctrine. In the name of Jesus, let me not be swayed here and there. Oh, Lord God, make me stable in you, oh, Lord. I want to be stable in you, oh, God. I want to be stable. I don't want to be blown away by every form of doctrine. I do not want to be blown away, Lord. I do not want to be blown away, Lord. I will not be blown away. Begin to decree it. I will not be blown away. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, amen. 
you are going to pray, Lord, Eri Karabastoria, fill me with more of your fire. I do not want to lose my fire, Lord. Fill me with more of your fire. 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 You said in your word, in Psalm 104, that you make your angel spirits and your ministers a flaming fire. We are all anointed. We are all children of God. Pray, pray that Lord, fill me with more of your fire. Fill me with more of your fire. I do not want to be lukewarm. I do not want you to spew me out, Lord. Be filled me with your fire. I will not be one to be that you will spew out, oh Lord. Fill me with your fire, Lord. Fill me with your fire, Lord. Fill me with your fire, Lord. Oh, the Karabaso, Shirila, Soria. Fill me with your fire. Brethren, I want you to pray. When Moses went in the presence of the Lord and he saw God face to face, he came back and the people could not behold his face. They had to put it, it's been said that they had to cover his face so that the, the glory will not consume the people. When you really know God, here your shadow will begin to heal the sick. That is my earnest desire. Lord, I do not want to be an empty sinner. I do not want to be an empty Christian. I do not want to be empty, Lord. I want to be filled with you. Fill me to overflowing, oh God, in the name of Jesus. You said if I ask, I will receive, oh Lord. Fill me, oh God. Kori karabaso shirila soria. Kori karabaso Keep my spirit fresh at all times. Holy God, keep my spirit fresh. I do not want to be stale. I will not be a stale Christian. Fill my feet. Fill me, oh Lord. Fill me, Lord. Fill me, Lord. Fill me, Lord. Fill me with your spirit, oh God. Kori karabaso shiriba boti tataria. Fill me, oh Lord. Fill me with your spirit. Kori karabaso in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Knowing God means that we know the intent. We know the intent, the plans of God. That is what knowing God can do to us. When we know God, then we know his plans and purposes for us. So you are going to say, Lord, I desire that you reveal to me, O oh Lord God, the brief blueprint of your plans and purposes for my life in this land of the living. In the name of Jesus. Mighty God, we just bless you, God. We magnify your name. Oh, Lord God, all the intentions, oh Lord, all the reason why you created me, begin to pray, pray that prayer, Lord, reveal to me. That is why I desire to know you more. I desire to know more of your power. I desire to know you. I desire to know you and your plans for my life. I desire to know that that power, to enjoy that power, of resurrection. I want to be able to exhibit that power of resurrection to, to speak and it comes to pass, to pray and it comes to pass in the name of Jesus, to have deeper revelations in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, amen. Because the, the Hebrew boys knew him, the word of God tells us in Daniel 1.17, that to these four young men, God gave knowledge and understanding of all kinds of literature and learning. And Daniel could understand visions and dreams of all kinds. This is your portion for yes. he as you seek to know God. Glory, Karabastoria. Hebrews 13, 8 says, God is the same God of yesterday, today, and forever. Tonight, you have not stayed awake for nothing. No matter where you are in every part of the world, you have sown this, this seed. This sacrificial seed of time in God's presence, you are going to say, Lord, you that gave Daniel and his friends knowledge, understanding in all kinds of learning. Oh, Daniel could understand visions and dream all kinds of dreams. Father, do the same for me. You know the endless desire of your heart, what you want, you desire to do for God, what God has revealed to you. Glory, Karabastoria. Peter desired to walk on water. He asked God, he asked Jesus, 
and Jesus helped him. Kerry Basoria, as you remain focused on God, begin to pray this prayer. You that did this for these Hebrew men and the, the other people in the Bible, Father, Lord God, go give me knowledge, give me wisdom, give me knowledge and understanding in all kinds of things. It may not only be in literature and learning, in understanding, visions. Look up, you can pray, Lord, make me a seer. Lord God, everything that is happening now, if I could just walk up to the house of Parliament and prophesy and, and pray or touch something, just, just speak to God. Whatever the Holy Spirit is, in the way the Holy Spirit is leading you, in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, you that did this for, for Daniel and his friends, Father, increase us in wisdom. Increase us in wisdom. Oh Lord God, because Solomon stood your ways, you gave him wisdom and great insight. A great understanding that drew men from far and wide. Father, Lord God, you are, the, you are still the same God. I desire to know you. I desire to know your will for my life. I desire to, to, to know, oh Lord God, oh Lord, greater knowledge about you, oh Lord, and your plans for your people. Not only for me, your plans for your people. How God wants to use you in the name of Jesus. Where God wants to use you. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says in Daniel 11.32b that they that know their Lord, they shall do exploits. Lord, I want to do exploits for you. I want to do exploits for you. Manifest your glory through my life. Manifest your glory through my life. Manifest your glory through my life. In the name of Jesus, glory, Karabasoria. Oh, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, manifest your glory through my life, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Holy Karabasoria. Father, Lord, I cry out to you that I want to know you more. Holy Karabasoria. I want to know you, Lord. I want to know your strength. I want to know your power. I want to know your strength. I want to know your strength. I want to know your power. I want to know you, Lord. I want to carry what is in you, O oh Lord. For your word says, in you I live and move and have my being. In the name of Jesus, I want your enabling power. O oh Lord, I want to know your enabling power. I want to have that enabling power. That power that enables me to finish and finish well. The power of creativity. Oh Lord, release unto your children, oh Lord. I desire that power of creativity. Oh, Kerry Basoria, knowing you, oh Lord, gives insight. You grant me insight into the things I'm, I'm still blind to in the name of Jesus. Father, remove every scale from my eyes, oh God. Father, pray, pray. Father, remove. Every spiritual spiritual wax blocking my ears that I cannot hear clearly. Father, remove every spiritual wax blocking my eyes. Holy Karabasoria. Holy Karabasoria. Make my spirit more sensitive to you, O oh Lord. In the name of pray for sensitivity. I pray for spiritual sensitivity in the name of Jesus. I pray for spiritual sensitivity in the name of Jesus. Holy Karabasoria. Soria. Holy Karabasa. In Jesus' name, amen. My brethren, I don't know if you are out there and you feel, oh, this dead bone, can it rise again? When you know God, you will know that what was dead can rise again. That is what knowing God uh, 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 means. Oh, Mary was able to know, but Martha did not know. My beloved, Knowing God means that you, you, you trust that what was dead, what seemed dead can rise again in the name of Jesus. So you are going to continue to say to Lord, Father, O Rikarabasoria, give me that knowing, that knowing that, makes, that can make me see that what was dead can rise again in the name of Jesus. The dead wombs can rise again. The dead businesses can rise again. The dead, you know, uh, uh, contracts 
can arise again in the name of Jesus. Every dead cells in the body can come alive again in the name of Jesus. Mori Karabaso Shiriba Bosi Tadaria. Because we do not have any other God but you. We just thank you, Holy God, in the name of Jesus. Mori Karabasoria. Go Shirila So Shiriba Bosi Tadaria. Eriba So Shiriba Bosi Tadaria. Because his blood was shed for you. You know that you know that you can go boldly before the throne of grace. Do not feel condemned. Do not feel condemned. Go Riala Baso Shirila Sa. Do not give up. Do not be despondent. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and begin to say, Lord, I am your child. You died for me. You died for me. I desire to be a carrier of your glory. In the name of Jesus, I desire to be a carrier of your glory. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, I just bless you, God. Bring me, bring me into light and greater height of sensitivity. In the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, as I seek to know you more, bring me into light and greater height of sensitivity to the things of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Make me more sensitive to the things of the Spirit. Oh, Lord, make me more sensitive to the things of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Daniel and his friends, they knew everything. Nothing was hidden because they had a great knowledge of God. They were so bold. They didn't care to go to the, to the fire or the, the, for Daniel to the lion's den. They were because they knew that their God would step in. So pray, pray that the same God to increase your understanding of God, asking to bring you into light and greater height of sensitivity to the things of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Accuracy, accuracy. Yes, Lord. Accuracy. Give me accuracy in the Spirit to discern, to discern at all times. To know God means, you know, being accurate spiritually. In the name of Jesus. Give me accuracy. Sensitivity, sensitivity to the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, give me accuracy. Sharpen, sharpen my accuracy. In the name of Jesus, Gori Karabasuria. Let me catch things from you easily and clearly. Give me clarity in the things of God. In the name of Jesus, give me clarity, O God. Give me clarity, O God. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, amen. We are going to pray that prayer in Colossians chapter 1, verse 9. Fill us with the knowledge of your will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding, that we may walk worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing him, being fruitful in every good work, and increasing in the knowledge of God. Father, Lord, fill us with the knowledge of your will in all wisdom. Fill us with the knowledge of your will. Fill us with the knowledge of your will in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord God, help us to increase in the knowledge of God. Help us, O oh Lord, to increase in the knowledge of God. Ah, Father Lord, I open myself up. Begin to pray that prayer. Lord, I open myself up. I open myself up unto you. Locate me and fill me with that increased knowledge of, of you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Fill us. Colossians 1 verse 9. Mighty God, fill us with the knowledge of you, of the will. In all wisdom and spiritual understanding, fill us with the knowledge of your will. In all wisdom and spiritual understanding, fill us with the knowledge of your will. In all wisdom and spiritual understanding, that we may walk worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing you. In the name of Jesus, being fruitful in every good work and increasing the knowledge of God. Father, Lord God, Father in heaven, we just bless you, God. We magnify thy name. Holy Karabasoria. Keshrila Surya. Lead us always by the way we should go, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. 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 We just bless you, O oh Lord. Holy Karabaso Shrila Surya. Blessed be thy name, O oh Lord. Heri Karabasuria. O Shriba Bosi Tadaria. Father Lord, we bless you. We magnify thy name, O oh Lord. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you for releasing of you into us today. Father, Lord, continue to guide us, lead us, Holy Ghost. 
Holy Ghost, Kerry Bashuri, Kerry La Seri, Karabasteria, Mori Karabastos, Riba Bosi Tanaria, Mori Karabastoria. Father Lord, let your fire in us never be quenched, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. The power of God is fire. We will not lose your fire. We will not lose your fire. We will not lose your fire, Holy God, in the name of Jesus. We will not lose your fire, in the name of Jesus. We will not lose your fire, in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord God, as we continue to long for you, as our, so our spirit man continue to yearn for you, Father, Lord God, help us, O oh Lord. Wash away anything that will hinder us from not appropriating all that we have placed at your altar today. In the name of Jesus, we just bless you, God. We magnify your name. We adore you, Lily of the Valley. Father, Lord, continue to give us greater and deeper revelation. You gave revelations to Paul, oh God. Give us deeper insight, deeper insight, deeper revelations of you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Sovereign Lord. Thank you, Most Holy and Righteous Father. Be thou exalted. Be thou glorified. We desire to preach the gospel with signs and wonders, the gospel with power, with might, with your, with your might, O oh God. Help us, O oh God. Help us, Sovereign Lord. Heri Karabasuria. Heri We pray, O oh Lord God, for those who have not known you in the name of Jesus in all our families. Mighty God, by the power of the Holy Spirit, reveal yourself unto them, O oh Lord. May they connect with those that will bring them to you in the name of Jesus. We just bless you, Lord. We magnify your name. Blessed be thy name, O Lord. Blessed be thy name, immortal God, invisible God, in the name of Jesus. Holy Karabasuria. Father, Lord, we want to be rooted in you. We want to be established. Holy Karabasuria. Holy Karabasuria. Father, Lord, we just bless you. We magnify your name. In the name of Jesus. Amen. One last prayer. We are going to pray this prayer from Ephesians chapter 3. Ephesians chapter 3. You can pray this more in your spare time from. 16 from verse 16 to 18 i pray that out of his glorious riches he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being so that part of it we prayed before strengthen me with might in the inner man i pray that out of his glorious riches he may strengthen you with the power through his spirit in the inner man so that christ may dwell in your heart through faith and I pray that you be rooted and established in love. You're going to pray, Lord, enable me to be rooted and established in the love that you have for me. When you know that God loves you, then you'll be able to have the power. You know, being rooted and established in love may have power together with all the lost people to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. You know, the love of God, realizing, walking in that reality that God really loves you, will make you really, you know, desire to know him more. Praise the Lord. Father, Lord, our King of glory, King of kings, increase our love for you and enable us to walk in the reality that you love us. Help us to be more and more passionate about you and about your activities about your plans and purposes for our lives in the name of jesus i just bless you oh god and magnify your name i bless you eternal rock of ages may we not fall by the wayside oh god in the name of jesus we will not fall by the wayside in the name of jesus enable us by your spirit oh god holy spirit lead us guide us every step of the way all through our destiny in the name of Jesus, guide our husband, our partners, our, our, our wives, guide our children, our children's children that, oh Lord God, they will not fall by the wayside in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we just bless you. Enable us to know you. Enable us to know you. We do not want to depart from your presence. We want to always say like David, whither shall I go from your presence? We do not have any other God. 
We do not have any other God. We desire to serve you and you alone, O God, in the name of Jesus. We have no other God but you. We have no other God but you. Father, Lord God, you are the only God that we have known, we have come to know. Father, never let us have any cause to turn away from you, O God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, who died on the cross of Calvary, he rose again and is seated at the right hand of God in heaven. Father, Lord God, never let us experience anything that will make us say, where is our God? In the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, even tonight, as we are, uh, we are praying, we know that the wicked ones, they are plotting and planning their evil. Even for those that are in the daytime, that is why you said the sun shall not smite us by day, nor the moon by night. Any power projecting evil into the sun, into the moon, against eternity, against your children, we come against them by the power in the name of Jesus. Father, those that you are to arrest and save their souls, mighty God, save their souls, O oh God. Those that you know are sons of perdition, Father, Lord, deal with them, O oh Lord. We hand them over to you. Because vengeance is of you in the name of Jesus. Vengeance is yours, O God. The sun shall not smite us by day, nor the moon by night. Any parading demonic powers, the principalities, rulers of darkness, spiritual kindness in high places, queen of heaven, queen of the coast, every demonic power that is seeking to war against your children, to war against us on account of this work, Jehovah, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we surrender, we surrender them unto you, God. In the name of Jesus, release your angels and archangels to begin to fight for us, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, we stand upon your word in Luke 10, 19, that you have given us power to tread upon serpents and, serpents and scorpions. In the name of Jesus, O Lord God, glory, parabashuri, kanduria, in the order of your word in Isaiah 54, verse 17. You said no weapon formed against us shall prosper in the name of Jesus. No weapon, no weapon formed against us from the land, from the sea and the air formed against us shall prosper in the name of Jesus. For your spirit is upon us, so set the captives free. And that is why we are doing your work in the name of Jesus. We trust in your ability to protect and preserve our lives for bringing the truth in, in, to your children, to, to, for them to grow by. In the name of Jesus, the gates of hell shall not prevail against your church. We arrest every contrary powers, every demonic messengers. We say the Lord Jesus rebuke you. In the name of Jesus, we stand in the name of the Lord Jesus, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in power. And we bind every contrary powers that will try to war against us. In the name of Jesus. We say the Lord Jesus rebuke you. The Lord Jesus rebuke you. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Father, Lord, I just come, O oh Lord, with the blood. And I sprinkle the blood of Jesus. I sprinkle the blood of Jesus. I sprinkle the blood of Jesus over our homes, over our lives, over our property, over our children, over our jobs. Father, I sprinkle the blood of Jesus. I sprinkle the blood of Jesus. The blood has set us free. The blood defends us. The blood speaks better things unto us. The blood brings defense for us. Father, I draw your bloodline round about each and every household, each and every man, every woman watching in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, release your fire. Draw your bed, your fire, round about each and every one, O Lord, and defend them. Lord, I pray for your strength. Infuse your strength into everybody's systems as we wait upon you, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, release your strength. For your word says, they that wait upon the Lord shall be like Mount Zion. Father, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Oh Lord, we shall never be moved. We shall never be moved. We will not be moved in the name of Jesus. I pray that this fasting and praying will bring open sight, open sight, deeper understanding of your word, of your ways, of you 
in the name of Jesus. We bring release of power, releasing of power, releasing of grace upon each and every one, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Sovereign Lord. We decree and declare, oh Lord God, as it's op this fast is open in the name of God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, that your power will move mightily as never before in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. 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 More so sitadaria. Oh Lord, rule, oh God, rule, 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 rule and reign. Oh Lord, give us power, dominion. Let it be made manifest, oh Lord, because you have given it unto us already. Kederi la makanda aba seri karaba shuria. Ori karaba seri kando riba bosi tadaria. Ori karaba shuri kando riba bosi tadari. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Mo shiri mahe mahe kerele seri masuria. Iba shiri karaba so shiri ba bosi tadaria. Mighty God, I just bless you. I thank you, Lord God. Ori karaba so shiri ba bosi tadaria. Your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Oh, Lord God, let the word your children shall hear all through these three days, O oh Lord. Guide them. Let it lead and open ways, pathways unto them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, eternal rock of ages. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you, my dear. Thank you. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. The echo. When I'm talking, that line will echo. So I can't talk while mommy is online. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just begin to thank him. Thank him. Thank him, Lord. Just begin to appreciate him. Just begin to thank him for what we have heard. And begin to say, Father, I receive that grace. Pray that prayer point again. Lord, I receive that grace to know you more. The grace to seek to know you more. And to love you, and to walk in your will, to walk in your plans, that I will not miss it. In the name of Jesus, Hallelujah! Oh, glory, 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 glory! Hallelujah be unto the name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, Amen and Amen. God bless you all. I pray for you all that it is well with all of us in Jesus' name. I cover you all in the blood of Jesus. I say receive grace, all of us grace. We receive grace to fast in these three days in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you all. See you online tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. We'll be online 10 a.m. in the morning. And then, so before then, you wake up early. You can wake up early. You can pray and do your thing. Get to know your father. The only way to know God is through his word. You know, you want to know somebody that I may know him. How can you know me if you are not close to me? How can I know you if I am far away? When couples, how do they know each other? That you can even call a husband and say, where is your husband? Many a time you will come in and say, where is your husband at a particular time in the day? Or oh, I will tell you, around this time my husband will be doing this, or he'll be doing that, or he'll be doing that, or this is what he'll be doing. Why? Because we know each other. We have spent time with each other. We know everything about each other. It is the same. If I was living in Kafanchan, is there any city like Kafanchan? Why do people use that? And they say, this is where I come from, Kafanchan. 
There is no way I can know, you know, but because we spend time together, I know what he does at certain times in the day. That is how it is with our Father. The way to know God is through what we are doing now. It's through what we are doing now. So don't just wait until we come online. Spend time with God on your own. Spend time with God on your own. As I was saying earlier on that, this life, there is nothing in it. There is nothing in it. Before I go, let me give you now this gist about the guy that died today. So, for you to know that, when the Bible says the little that the poor man has is worth much more than anything. My husband, on the mother's side, my 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 husband has a half brother half brother as in the same mother with him he's, he's his mom my mother-in-law first son my husband is his second son but that first son the mother had her like most of us now even my mom me i am separate from my younger ones my mother had me before marrying my stepfather, you know, so that was the same thing with him. But they all grew up together as one. They were, when their mother died, eh, they were all together. I know him right from time because he stayed with his mother. His father, family side, rejected him and everything. And this guy traveled. My husband, they donated, contributed and everything. Then he traveled to Japan, you know. And this guy spent years, came with, when you are talking about money, he came with money back home. He relocated back to Africa, back to Nigeria. And so when he relocated, his father that has died many, many, many years ago, this guy went to his father's family when he came back from Japan. He went to go and establish relationship with his father's family. He went to go and do burial remembrance. He spent, renovated his father's house. His mother's house is there. He has not renovated it. His mother that labored for him. This guy went, renovated his father's house, did the remembrance. And when he was coming back, he took one of his own on his father's side a son and brought him to lagos so that guy that is the guy that died today was living with him since then many some years since he came back and this time around said he began to you know do his his mother's side he was not very sincere now you know because now he's a big man nobody can talk to him anyway Sha, long story made short he has two children a boy and a girl and the mother of the children, they are not together, you know. They are not together. And so, the, but he was uh, taking care of the child, the children, they were with him, but their mother has left the house with this boy and the nanny. Like when I went home, when my mother died, I stayed with him, and then before going back to Benin City, suddenly from nowhere, this guy became sick. Even in the night, he will be saying, he didn't even tell my, 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 his brothers, my husband, and the, the mother side that the, he was sick, he was sick, but he was not really saying it was serious. You'll be saying when he's sleeping, somebody is pulling his heart. It's like he saw people like they are tying his heart or something. Go to church, na lie. My husband preach, 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 na lie. Everything, na lie. So, eventually, this guy died. It is my husband that my husband families, the mother side were the ones that took him up, that sponsored, that contributed, even borrowed to send him abroad and everything. May I give you a gist? In this life, I'm only saying this for for we to learn. For we to learn that life is too short for you know. When people are doing some certain things, they don't understand. This guy, till tomorrow, all his properties, 
he didn't tell his mother side where, where his properties are. The one, they know his property in Abuja. The project, he, he, he poured, bump, pumped money into in Abuja. The document, everything, he left with the guy handling it in Abuja. Till tomorrow, since he died, the guy did not remit one cobble of all the properties in Abuja. He has one, one uh, duplex, a hey, massive in Lagos. In fact, in phase two, lucky phase two, rent, yearly rent in that property alone is three million. The first year rent is three million naira a year per annum to rent the place. The property is worth like about, maybe they were saying about 60 million or something like that. That is the only one we saw. His friends, self colleagues, friends that they did business together, even he had two property. But the engineer claimed one of it and said this for him. So because he's dead, and he did not even make, no, he did, no will. He didn't even write any will. He was sick, a man that is sick. He didn't even write any will. He didn't even write to say this is his properties. These people, and people are owing him, his friends are owing him millions. Till tomorrow that he died, nobody paid him anything. But the one that baffled everybody is that the boy staying with him when the man died. Before my brothers, uh, my, my husband, before we, we traveled home, before my husband, the sister in Switzerland, got home because it's four of them their mother have, and they are the closest. But he was keeping secret, secret. Before we got home, the moment the guy died, the first thing this boy died, did, the big, if you see the power, very big generator, what, one million or one point something million, this boy, so, first spam, sold it before we got home this boy sold the generator without telling my husband without telling anybody and then we got home my husband said when he came last time there was that big generator where is it the guy didn't say anything it was the children's mom that now told us later that uh, it was that boy this boy that died so sold it with a ah, small boy of 20 something years old as I then three almost four three and a half years ago, less than four years ago. My husband called and said, Come, where is my brother's generator? Uh, the children need their school fees. Which school fees? He told we told him hold on, we are coming. My husband said he's coming. But my husband is the next. The bicycle that my husband gave brought for his brother because he requested for bicycle. You can't find bicycle again. The man property um documents the engineer said there is a suitcase that contained his documents paperwork for his, he bought some lands even this driver was saying that he followed him to go buy some lands in that lucky all the documents of some of his other properties are in the suitcase the suitcase was there no document inside ima is his name we are out where is all he doesn't know everything he doesn't know before my husband came that guy took everything that he wanted. He took all the documents. He took, he sold the one he would sell. Then my, they, they, my husband said, I told my husband, I said, leave him. Generator, how much? One point something million. Let him eat. Bicycle, let him go. But the documents, because they didn't know that one, because they said, close, lock the door until everything. And then the mother, the father said, greedy people, they came to, they want to claim property. But because my husband, where my husband they are, my husband said, those ones, they can't talk because they know that <laughs> they did nothing. The father side did nothing in the life of this guy. It was the mother side that, that really did. So even the junior brother on the father side, they are scared of the mother side family. So when we come, do you know the girl that gave birth to, to, the, to the boys, to the children for him? She came, my, they called her to go and stay with her children. She went. But this man said, lie, lie, that my brother, the, my brother-in-law said that they should not allow the woman to come near the children. Then they asked her, ask him, why? Their father is dead. She is their mother. They should let her in. That was how they now, because they always, my mom, husband said anything, they, they, they have to do it. That's how they are now allowed this woman. The barrier, cut the long story short, barrier ceremony. The barrier, this husband, uh, father, father side, they didn't bring money for burial. The mother side again are the ones that brought my husband and the sister. 
were the ones that did most of the things for the burial, paid mortuary bill. This girl, the mother of the children, they what they were going to do with her in Igbo land, you know how they do Igbo burial, we stood for her, all of us. She, in fact, when we were traveling, she came to our house in Benin City with the children. She stayed with us, went for the burial, came back. We ate together, did everything together. Now, when we, before we left, we called her and said, come, what do you want? My husband and the sister said, what do you want? You are the mother of these children. But what do you want? You have a choice. It's either if I base that the father, their father, when he was alive, was telling my sister-in-law in Switzerland that he wants my sister-in-law to come and take uh, the son when he's five years. As at this time, this boy, is the, ch the son will be around five years, four, five years, and the girl will be around two, three years, three years when their father died. They were very small. And so my husband and the sister called you, their mother. What do you want? They are your children. You have to decide. We cannot just carry your children for you. They don't have a father now, but you are their mother. But she too, she's very unstable. She's not serious. In fact, she does not have a root. She has no, she don't know where she came from. Tomorrow she will say she's from Ghana. The other day she will say she's from wherever, but she's, they, she has stayed a long time in Lagos. Okay, she now decided, okay, one, their father wanted the children to grow up abroad and we volunteered we said okay if you ask if you are interested we will adopt them my sister-in-law said she will take um, the girl my husband will take the boy but at least when they get here they have they have documents we can merge them anywhere together or we can rent a house for you and your children start up something for you and then you can take care of your children the choice is yours so the only property that we saw was that one house now that is rent is per annum is three million so the 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 woman now made up her mind said okay she will prefer them to travel abroad we contracted a lawyer started the process and everything to start the paperwork and then um the the this boy 20 something years old was thinking that because my husband they they are not in Nigeria he will be in charge of the money from coming from the house the rent and everything but he was shocked when they sold the jeep sold the cars because they had to sell all the cars like that and bank the money to take care of the children so the man was expecting if you see the way the boy was doing that day he was thinking they would tell him bring your account so that we can put the money my husband gave them our account say because we have internet banking so we can always transfer money here and there. Hi, the boy face changed. So the boy was not 100% happy because we now had to relocate them from that house that they were living to get them another house and all of that where they can stay. And then we, um, the so the boy and the children, we now it's okay, you continue to stay with the children until you, you are ready to move on with your life and you'll be settled once the children are settled. Then their nanny moved with them because their mother stays elsewhere. So their mother was coming and going, coming and going to see them and go. So, and the children continued with their nanny and school. And so what happened was the, the house was rented. When this boy got a rent, uh, somebody to rent the house, three million, he paid the money into his own account. And my husband was like, why will you do that? They said, yeah, because my husband is not in Nigeria. He's the one in Nigeria. He should be the one that should be in charge. After all, he's the one that is taking care. Now they said, the friends, all of them, that everybody took the decisions, decision said, no, you can't keep the money. Pay it into Mr. Bright's account. He will be remitting money to you monthly. So every month, so we now count how much they told us how much to be giving them every month. So every month we give them money for school fees and everything. This boy was not satisfied. Before we knew it, one day like this, paperwork is going on with the lawyer. We are doing already doing the adoption process so that we can, with the adoption now, we can bring the children, uh, one to London, one to Switzerland. At least if they come here now, we apply for documents, they will have passports. They will have passport. Then we cannot merge them. Either they will both go to Switzerland or they will both stay in the UK with their international passports. Before we knew it, this boy now planned with the convinced the mother of the children. 
come and I don't know what went on between them. One day she he just called us out of the blue. Already before this time he started misbehaving, you know, started telling lies, started convincing brother friend, one that was holding the house document. That one he went to go and start lying to that one. The other ones too, even that one became enemy with the other friends. Three close friends like that, they were like managing the whole situation, that way, like overseeing the whole situation because he was their friend. They all came from Japan and everything. But that particular one now pulled out because now this one, because that, the boy was now lying to him, telling him lies, then went to the mother of the child. I don't know how he convinced the woman. And then they all both planned it. And one they called us and said, ah, the uh, mother, the children, who, the mother said she doesn't want her children to travel anymore. She has come and uh, she has packed all the properties in the house. And that, uh, you know, my husband said, okay, why? My husband said, okay, tell her to. They said, no, he cannot stop her. Is it, are they not his children? Like play, like play. Oh, this woman with this boy. Because that woman is not working. That woman has no job. She cannot afford to rent a house. But Ima, this boy, went to go rent house for her because Ima already has money from the things he sold. Plus the documents that are with him that he took from his uh, uh, half-uncle to uh, properties from this uh, my brother-in-law's properties so he rented the house for this woman relocated the children from the school we put them and my husband put them they put the children in the school he relocated them to another school and so even when we we're talking to the woman the woman said ah, man, no it's her children no she don't want them to travel again i said really eh, when the time comes for them to travel they will travel eh, they are her children she want she, this woman changed my, okay, my husband said, okay, we are coming home. When we come, we'll sort of sit down and discuss this matter. And so we now went home to go. Usually when we are going home, we buy things for the children. Their father always want them to have good clothes from here. We buy clothes from here. The father will pay me. When I buy the clothes, the father will pay me. Everything, even when we are going home, we loaded a, a truck a truck home. So we took bicycles, we bought, as usual, we just bought them clothes and everything. I bought, even bought them, um, what do you call this thing, uh, tablets for the two of them, bought them toys. We always buy things for them anyway when we are going home. So when we got home now, we now we were talking, we were calling um, the, the brother friend. So we now had a meeting. So we said, okay, let's go and see the woman first and the children. <laughs> Uh, the day we went to go, we went the first day. Then the second day, we went. We took the things apart from the bicycle, but we we were we just took only the clothes and the rest because the bicycle was in um in a far place where we are offloading our truck. So we we went to see this lady. Suddenly, I began to feel sense something was not right, and I told my husband, I said, "Let's get out of here now." I said something, my spirit is telling me, this is like three and a half years, I said my spirit is telling me something is cooking. Let's go. And we got back into the car. As we were coming out of the estate, police everywhere, this woman and this imam connived together. They arrested us. As we were coming out of the gates, because we did not, we were not quick enough to leave. As I told, I said my husband, let's leave here now. My spirit is telling me something is wrong. So we left. We go in the car. We drove out of the estate. But just, you know, like this Lagos, they have like gates. As we were coming out of the estate, police stopped us. She already told them our car and everything. And then we saw this boy. Since we came, the boy is hiding. The boy himself went to go rent a house and furnish it himself. We got all the information from his church members. His church member said he came to church to do thanksgiving. That he's the one that inherited his late brother's property. That his late brother has no, no uh, male family. He's the only family in their house. And so he inherited the property. Whereas is a lie. He did not inherit any property. He's the ones he stole. The money he's spending. And then now because he's living big, he has the money. He's stealing from a dead man that has his own children. And that was how we got arrested. That is how we saw ourselves in the police station. This woman began to lie that we want to kidnap her children. 
<laughs> that we, we want to kidnap our children. We started lying against my husband. I was like, wow, can people be this wicked? You were the one in the presence of everybody, including brother and friends. And we were even helping you. Ask him, I bare, I have my own children. I am not looking for children. We were just trying to fulfill their father's wish in these children. Come abroad. So the be <laughs> Before we need they connect with the engineer, engineer that the built two houses that already claimed the one, the remaining one again. Connect with the engineer. I trust police now. Once you give them small change, 300,000, 100,000 naira, that if you see the way the woman was, <laughs> I said this woman, <laughs> they shall, me, I'm not be Nigeria. I've been Nigeria, but I'm not be fully Nigeria. But at the same time, we were there now. They wasted our time. Me, they released me now. now. They had my husband. They said that. Uh, you know what they were after, Ima? The rent, the three million rent that he paid into our account. That we that it was say so how much they were asking us how much is remaining from the money. <laughs> My husband told them two point something because we've paid uh, uh, rent and we've been giving them from expenses for that time for the few time, few months. The balance, they said we should go and return it. I said, What is my own? <laughs> I am not looking. What is Two million, two point something or one point something million. I can't remember the balance again that was left of their money that was in their account. Me, they say me I should go and bring it. <laughs> Trust your woman of God, na sharp woman. <laughs> now I leave, I leave bros there. <laughs> me, I didn't go back. Me, I just carried the money, eh? Transferred it to my other brother-in-law account that is in Nigeria. The ne my husband, because of this woman, slept overnight in the police station. Because that time it was evening time. And so they said, until we refunded the money, the next day went bank open. They didn't release my husband. They did not release him. My husband slept in the police because he's trying to help somebody, his brother's children. That is what Ima connived with this woman. They went to go call those his irresponsible brothers, a brother from their village. All of them planned. The ones they heard that we were in town. They plant everything. We saw the same one in the village. They were in Lagos because of us. This woman too. This woman too. The next day, we refunded their money. They make us to sign the right statement be undertaking or whatever. We write undertaking. No. We go the next day. We gave, gave them the money. They gave us the woman account, their mama. Greed. We put the money in the mama account. So we left. Since that day, we forgot about their matter. So they were, that is how they have been going on and on. So once in a while, we will call them. We went home. Um, was it this year or last year? When we went home this year, we still bought things for the children. We bought them toys and gifts. We bought them gifts. Was it this year or last year? But we didn't see the woman. We gave it to one of our driver that knows them to give to the children. Even once in a while, we'll still call the children and say hello to them and all of that. We forgive them. Me, I have forgiven them for everything, the stress they put us through. My husband forgave them. We have nothing against him. But since then, this Imana went haywire, went into music and all of that. He was grooving the money that he stole from the man. Plus the remaining one that they connive together with the woman. Me, we don't know how they settled the matter because that Ima before don't like the woman. Now, the same Ima, 20 something years, maybe around 30 years now because it's like three and a half years ago. This happened like three and a half years ago. That my brother-in-law died. Ima died last week. He was killed last week in Lagos. This life, all the money, all the things he's stolen and sold or he's selling now, where is it? Where is it? A young boy like that. Greed. Greed. It pains me for him because he's the only relative now that really cares for that children a little bit. He still goes to see them, takes them out. Now, no father, nobody again. 
Today is the day they buried him. And we were told, according to this woman now, when my, my brother-in-law's wife called her this morning, she told her that a man with some people uh, last week, uh, we don't know the business he did with them, that they were asking for money from him or money matter, that the boy refused to give them money or so that they poisoned him or they killed him or what they did. After killing him, they threw him in the river, in one of these rivers in Lagos. That is, it is the uh, uh, river, uh, the river now, you know when it don't, that river don't float out. They saw his dead body. They killed him. After killing him, they threw him in the river. It's not good, it's a soul. Me, I'm not happy about his death. Too. Actually, my heart is bleeding for him. My heart is bleeding for him because I am not sure he's born again. In hell, he Satan has won over that soul. That is my own, my own, my own, I don't know, I've not been happy since I heard that that boy was dead. He's 30 years, he's very young. The devil, he allowed himself to be used by the devil. And they say when they found him dead, that he, they saw money, large chunks of money with him. He tied the money in his body. And maybe the money is what they killed him for. He refused to, you know when greed, money matter, when somebody like money too much. He did not release the money. He preferred to die than to give them the money or something. We don't even know what really happened. That is just what he said, what the woman said. But that when they found him, they found him with the money. He tied the money to his body. But those people did not see that money because he didn't put it in his pocket or anywhere. You know, Igbo man now. Before he tied money inside his body, that he knows where he's going to. He's going to do something that is illegal. And also they know because he's telling everybody that he's the one that inherited his brother's property. But he didn't inherit anything. He stole it. He stole the documents to all those lands and other proper, secret properties that brother has. That the man has. That he didn't even tell his, 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 his family. Only that guy know where it is. He stole the documents. Nobody saw the documents since the man died the tomorrow. But this boy went to go do thanksgiving in his church. He's, he's a, he plays instrument in his church there. That is the one that inherited his uncle's property. So that they will not, they, because now he's spending money. He's got money. So he's selling his, the man's property. And the only one house that should be used, because the plan was to uh, uh, put the house on rent. They didn't want to sell it. And that every every year they will be saving the money. And they were going to, uh, after they have, for now, they were going to use the money first to process the one first rent to process their documents. When they come over, then the next year rent, they will add to it and use it to settle a man to go and start up his own. Even though everybody knows he has stolen from the man. Then going forward, they were going to open, the plan was to open an account for the children, fees deposit every year. They will be putting the money, the rent, into the children's account. We, we told them we don't need money to raise them here. We are okay. We are, they are like, how much? We, do, we don't need money to raise children here now. It's nothing, nothing special. So the plan was to start banking it for them until they are 18. When they are 18 years or 20 years, fees deposit, nobody will have access to it. They can now go and claim it themselves. But they didn't want that. And they used the mother to the mama. Today now they were calling the woman. Today they called the woman. They said the woman was saying, oh, she, she, she has made a big mistake. She's crying now that she has made a big mistake. She has made a big mistake. Because <laughs> the only person that is holding the family from the village is in my Lagos. Is blocking them because I want to want to eat. Now that Ima is out of the way, <laughs> if care is not taken, that house, they will set. If the if the documents, if Ima is with the documents, if is gone, they will collect that documents before that woman will know. They will set that remaining one house, the only one surviving house that should be used in taking care of these children, in these children, so that they don't suffer in future. And I pity those small young children under the age of 10, both of them. Seven years and maybe nine years. I'll be six years or six, seven, eight, maybe six and eight years old children. If they sell their only property, that means to say those children will suffer because their mother has nothing, nothing doing. She's clubbing and you see her photograph on, in Instagram club 
They follow my way, get that to irre, irresponsible boyfriend where she carry the worker. Plus herself, irre. They we were told she smokes, she drinks, clubs. That's what she does. That was why they didn't want her to raise the children before. But a man knows all these things, but because he wants to use her, because the woman to need money, brainwashed her. My sister-in-law in, in, in Germany, in Switzerland, spoke, spoke, spoke. She didn't listen to anybody. My husband spoke, spoke. My husband told me to talk, 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 talk. She didn't listen to any of us. And we let them go. On top of that, lied against us. Police were telling me to go and bring my passport. That was why I disappeared. Bring my passport to do what? Ask what and for what? Before they released my husband, they were still asking us to bring our passport. I said, I should bring my international passport. And then they will come and tell me to use one million to come and build passports. I just changed hotel, carry me and my husband load and property and passport. Bam! They didn't see me again there. But I was controlling everything because if they see me, they will not want to demand for our passport because they knew we came from London. We came, they knew we came from abroad. Now he's gone. What a man sows, he reaps. This is just a lesson to us to understand. Bible said it that let hands join together. The wicked will not go unpunished. But this death, I'm not happy about it. Actually, I'm hurting. I, it hurts me as a mother. A mother. I don't know if his mother is alive, Sha. His father. His father may be alive. They just lost his son. We are all human beings. I know that he did what, what he did. What he did is wrong, but I did not. I don't wish him dead. And moreover, the one, the worst of it is that a soul is lost to hell if he did not repent. Except if he repented. Even when he was doing all these things, he goes to church. It's not about going to church. The next thing, and he began. He went into he, he, he went into music. He became a musician. I started waxing and releasing album. He released one album. And the next thing I see him wearing a big, big chain. Doing now, he began to do that, that rugged hairstyle, begin to follow Raskimono, all those, uh, all those uh, irre, irresponsible musicians. And then I see him, he goes to club, clubs to go and play music. He goes, is that a Christian that goes to club to do show or play music and all those things? So I'm not happy that his soul is lost to hell, honestly speaking. But this is life, guys. Mind how you live your life. Mind how you treat people. It matters. It matters. Be good. We trying to do good. See, see the results. What we had to go through. But we too, we forgive them all. And left everything in the hands of God. My concern is the children. Because they are innocent in all of this. What do they know? They don't know nothing. Their mother has taken a bad decision that will affect their lives forever. By now, three years ago, by now, the children would have been here living their life. Why their money, the money from that house will be banked for them, for their future use. But alas, now the mother is regretting, oh, she has made a mistake. Because now, <laughs> she's in danger of losing that house. And these people in the village, very greedy they don't care what they will eat you should have seen what they did for the barrier you should have seen how they buried that guy like a pauper they buried that man like a pauper no food no <laughs> we no food on his barrier they didn't even bring video coverage we were the one that even brought video coverage if you see the barrier they type this guy is a big man with all the money that even my husband and the sister gave them. They buried him like a pauper. They buried herself. My sister, my husband, they cried. They cried for their brother's burial because normal in Nigeria, the father's side have more power over the mother's side. If you see where the grave they dug for the man, <laughs> whether it's four feet or three feet, I don't know. It's not up to six feet at all. Shallow. In fact, they showed the man wickedness. He's dead, his corpse. Wickedness. We gave them money for my husband. They gave them money to buy the most the most expensive corpse they have there that time. They collected the money. We say let them buy it. No. The corpse they bought for the man. 
even you will not put a, if you see the cups I mean casket not cups I'm sorry the casket they bought for the man we gave them money to buy the bigger range casket they want to go buy cut and neck casket if you see the cut and neck casket they use in burying this man the money they even my the mother side donated to them for the burial they squandered it all and did the burial anyhow food all the people that came for burial no food thank god we cooked our own food brought our own drinks if not the guests or the family members that even came for bed that they wouldn't have gotten food this that is how wicked they are but god is a is a rewarder of everybody and everything look at him now his own death is even worse than the brother own brother that at least he was sick he was hospitalized before he died he went to hospital his own nothing like that even his own they threw him inside you see that kind of a dead demonic death threw him after killing him they threw him inside the river they had to find his corpse in the river <clears throat> this word is vanity nothing nothing in this world can satisfy jesus is the cup that will never run dry put your hope and your confidence in him put your trust and everything in him what is material things that would deprive or deprive us of serving god you shall love the lord your god with all your heart all your mind all your soul don't worry whether you things are not working out yet don't worry whether things you are pursuing or you are expecting hasn't come it will come just stay put and be patient love god serve him if nothing else the peace that he gives passes all human understanding seek to know him seek to love him seek to know him. see now he disgraced the children of god look at his own disgrace he disgraced us. That was a disgrace and an embarrassment to us. Police case. Police, those that are smelly, stinking cell. And that woman slept fine that night. Ha. Look at his own disgrace. Be careful. Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Even though that time I have not come fully into ministry, we were still children of God. We were workers in the house of God. We were leaders in the house of God. We were his anointed and we were innocent. What did we do? And the, the woman come begin to talk lie. Now later now come they say, Hey, Mama Zuka, you say kidnap? How? Uh, they did not kidnap. Uh, uh, they want to take them away from me. Say, but with your permission, we asked you. You gave us permission. We not talk again, say give permission. We say we want forcefully. Can't twist the whole thing because they wanted to collect the house. And they have already collected it. We have moved on from there. After all, the house was not our own. Eh? The house is not our own. It was, it was for the children in the first place. But this is life. Let us live our lives for God. Though. Live for Jesus. That is what matters in this life nothing else see in this life don't worry you may do good for people they will pay you back with evil you will even train somebody's child in the university he will start to work he will abandon you he will ask you what did you do for me are, are you the one that started it leave them leave them i watched a movie that time of a boy that was adopted from the orphanage how many of you saw that movie the man had no child. He adopted one son that was almost dying in the orphanage. He took the boy, the church orphanage, trained the boy, treated the boy, trained the boy, and made the boy. He was going to make the boy rich. This guy go marry one evil wife. They began to maltreat the man. It was a house help that was even helping the man. They will be starving the man with food. 
they will be the wife and the the the, the uh, adopted son will be maltreating his adopted father until one day he, the man now said he's tired of the boy that he wants to go and dump the mother the father in the old man's home with the church took the father to church and to the pastor that was where the pastor now said is this not so so and so yes and he said no he want to come and dump him in the uh, this did not know that the game game was changing that was when the pastor the pastor the father of the church told the boy you are even adopted though he's not your biological father you own nothing in that house he saw you here it was that day the man chased the boy and his wife out of his house you saw it abby imagine you will suffer to help somebody even give them house. Me, many have stabbed us in the back hole, but it's still not stopping us. We have given our homes to people. We'll have like three families with children in a three bed house. At Christmas, we'll give them, then I had my shop, I had my business. As I'm buying gifts for my children, I am buying for their children. Today, they don't even call me to ask, how are you? In fact, today, self, I'm not sure they even know my name. Some of them even, one woman said that I, I, I put in my house, went and began to lie against us. In fact, even in church, tried to disgrace us. Where is she today? Lies. This is somebody, you are biting the finger that failed you. When you came into the country, you knew nobody, you had no help. We gave you home, free of charge. You don't pay rent, you don't pay bills, you don't buy water, you don't buy food. At the end of the day now, because now you've known ground, you have to lie against us for you to be favored with another family this is how human beings are but today how is their life don't worry have it in mind people with god god almighty is the only one that can never turn his back on us you can build a house for somebody give them the most expensive cars they will still turn around and stab you because people knows how to be ungrateful. But one thing is that we are not doing it for man. We are doing it for God. And it's not stopping me. I'm still helping people. You need help. It's my nature to help people. I love helping people. It, I will not say because even here in, 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 in Manchester, many people that relocated from Ireland, they started, it's my house here. I'll be driving them up and down, looking for a house, driving them here and there, helping them, making calls, as if it's my blood sister that is looking for the house. Some of them, the moment they move out into their house, they forgot me. <laughs> they forgot me. They are even, most of them that I've helped, they are even on Facebook, but them, look, they don't watch my video, they don't like, they don't follow. But it's not stopping me. If I say anybody that needs help, I will still help. Why? Because we are doing it. I am laying my own uh, treasures in heaven. We are laying our treasures in heaven. God is our rewarder. Continue to be good. Overcome evil with good. I just said like this guy, don't look at me feeling bad over his death. He's dead as a human because I have nothing against him. My heart is free. I forgave him long ago. You understand? But his death, I still felt bad about it. Because that is not something you wish on anybody. It's not something you wish on anybody. So forgive people that has hurt you. Forgive them because God has a way of doing his own thing. He said, pray for them that hurt you. By so doing, you are heaping coals of fire on their head. What are you annoying for? Are angry at? Let them all go. Free them from the prison of your heart. Thank God, assuming we have not forgiven him and he dies like this now. But thank God, long ago, since long ago, we have forgiven him. And as I'm even feeling bad that this boy is dead and look at the way he died. He's human. He's a human being. God still loves him. It's only that he refused to repent. You know, understand? I pray that God will help us. So. God is the only one that will never fail. Trust him. Love him. Surrender to him. Nothing in this world. You see me, eh? I don't treasure this material thing so. Honestly speaking. Me talking to you, your woman of God. When we were going for our mission trip, 
um was it this february or was it last year no this february one as at last year last year i needed some clothes i went to second hand shop to buy clothes for myself to use like my house yes because then i was losing weight i've lost some weight so i needed to buy some clothes I was not ready to go spend big, big money on clothes because we were looking for, because we were planning for programs and all of that. I went to the second hand shop. I'm telling you the fact. I went to pawn shop, second hand shop, to go buy clothes for myself. Washed it and I was using it. This is cloth crying that is from a second hand shop. I said, I don't want to waste money. I need to save. We are going for a program. We need money for church program, for the work of God. Because I love God this much, I want to do the work he put in my hand. I had to save to the extent of buying second-hand clothes. It was when I, after the program we came back, or no, before the program, it was my husband now that gave me money. I said, okay, go do some shopping. And then I went to London to go and buy clothes, to go do shopping because it's cheaper there. Sincerely, I'm telling you the truth. I even said it in our, in our meeting. In our in our team meeting, and I was even showing them the clothes I bought in the second hand shop. I'm not hiding it. I'm very transparent. I don't treasure these material things. So they don't shock me at all. I'm not moved. It doesn't move me. It's not because I'm a Christian. <laughs> when you grow up like I grew up, not none of these things will matter to you. I was raised by a single mom. There was a time I had I had only one underwear in primary school. Wash and wear. We wash it, squeeze it, dry it with towel. We it. I have seen poverty. As in, we have food. We have, we have never lacked food. But talking about clothes, talking about all those uh, luxuries, where is luxury? Luxury from where? At least there is food. There is clothes on our body. We managed to finish secondary school. No money to go to uni. But God be praised. But look at what God has done. He's the one that can rewrite your story. He's the one that can change our destinies. He's the one that can give us a future with a hope. The devil has no free gift. When the devil gives you one, he's going to take ten from you. Love him with all your heart. Love Jesus. He is the giver of life. I just share these few things so that we can learn one or two things from it. And think about it. Think about it. Jesus loves us so much. It is not his will that any should uh, perish, but that all should come to repentance. We are his beloved. God bless every one of you, every one of you. Pray for yourself right now before we go. And for those of us that are coming, we are fasting for three days. The fasting has already started. Only water, no food. Praise the Lord. Just thank God for your own life. Thank Him for grace. Thank Him for all that He has done and all He's doing and all He's going to do. Appreciate Him because He is God. Ask Him, say, Lord, help me to know you more. Help me to love you more. Help me to love you more. Help me to love you more. Help me, Jesus. I don't want to miss it. See, what will it profit a man to gain this whole world and lost his soul? Nothing. Absolute nothing. Father, help me to know you more. I want to know you more. Draw me nearer to you, Jesus. Draw me closer to you. Masha Tarabasi and Terikelegate Boson Toria. I broke those candle little boy she kayakata. Ah, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we pray that you will draw us nearer to you. Draw us closer to you, Father. 
have your way in our lives in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. For your word that we have heard today, we thank you. Lebra katas ken nere rebo shibra katos kontorobos. Leke ya karapa katata tatas ken nere rebo shikaraba sen nere rebos. Have your way, Jehovah God, in our lives. We surrender to you. We surrender our everything to you. Glory to your name, Jesus. We cover our bodies, souls, and our spirits in the blood of Jesus. Have mercy upon us in any area of our lives that we have sinned against you. Wash us with your blood, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Jesus. May your name be praised forever. May your name be praised. Lord, we receive grace strength and the enablement to wait on you in these three days we ask that you will fill us fill us fill us up thank you jesus cover every one of us in your blood cover every one of us in your blood in jesus name amen and amen and amen. God bless you all. Have a wonderful night rest. See you um, later um, at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. British Nigeria time. That will be like some of you in America, you're 5 a.m. or 4 a.m. If you are five hours apart or six hours apart. So just check it. Make sure you come online. God bless you. Love you all. See you later. Bye-bye.